Cook is the mayor that no one really wants to vote for, since his perks, in brief, suck. Like, who on earth cares about enchanting costing 15% less vanilla Minecraft experience? Who cares about spells doing 15% more damage? A Hyperion already one-shots everything anyway. No one needs 15 more alchemy wisdom. Alchemy is like the easiest and most useless skill. Well, second most useless. Actually third. But you get my point. He's useless and nobody likes him. Even Technoblade constantly made fun of him. As for Barry, he never gave up on his dreams of becoming mayor, and I hear his next competitor is Jerry. No way anyone's gonna vote for and Barry's in last place. Except for our guy Ari the Monkey. He liked Barry. And not because he thinks Barry's perks are useful, but because he thinks it would be super funny if he somehow was able to spread enough propaganda to get the entire game's population to vote for the most useless mayor. So, after his shower, he wrote the idea down. At first, it seemed a little bit surreal to him, almost impossible even, but after thinking more about it in the next couple of days, he realized that with enough planning and with the help of certain people, he can achieve it. And since Ari is a very known and respected member of the Stabla community, he already has connections to a bunch of smart people and YouTubers, so he reached out to them asking for help in various ways. Some of them doubted the idea and said it wouldn't work, saying that people like Techno already attempted something similar and failed, but still gave good advice. Some others said that it will be so boring and underwhelming that everyone will regret it later. But most of the people he reached out to ended up loving the idea and joining in on it. So he made a Discord server and invited everyone who's interested to it. Now we enter the planning and preparation phase. Ari and everyone sat down and thought about the task at hand for a little bit. They all realized that it is not going to be easy to make an entire community that is made up of tryhards who love progressing quick and min-maxing everything convinced to vote for something that will directly negatively impact their game. Why on earth would they vote for Barry and get nothing when they can vote for Diana and get a ton of money from the event? So, in order for this to work, they must strike at the perfect time. You see, when mayors are running in Skyblock, they don't always get all of their perks, so sometimes a mayor can be not as useful. For example, a year where Diana is running but she only gives plus 35% pet XP and does not have her event perk makes her kinda useless. So the first part of the plan is to have patience and wait for the perfect mayor election when everyone else's perks are bad. Sadly, no one has control over what perks mayors can have, however, they can start preparing in the meantime. Which brings us to the preparation part of this phase. Since the goal was to make everyone do something they really normally wouldn't do, they wanted to make sure the propaganda spreads as far as possible to everyone, and Ari had multiple ideas to do that. He planned scheduled uploads with multiple Skyblock YouTubers for them to release them all at once when the time comes. He also gave all of those YouTubers he's invited custom Barry-themed skins that are their Minecraft skins in Barry's outfit, so that the election campaign feels much more serious and less of a shitpost. Or at least a very high quality shitpost. He made another Discord server and set it all up, with the help of DKMCC and Liam, but this one will go public the moment the perfect election comes. One of the creators he's invited, Simply Sample, made a whole Skyblock island called Barry Hub that anyone could visit and would act as a main headquarters for the election, and would also remain secret until the perfect election comes. But in the middle of all the preparations, Ari got some news he wasn't expecting. It seemed like a staff member that works at Hypixel had been noticing what's going on and knew of their plans. However, they actually were very interested in the idea and found it funny and wanted to help. At first, Ari wasn't 100% sure about how he feels to get an actual Hypixel employee on board with this. In his own words, he was 95% sure but he ended up inviting them, which was the right call. This Hypixel employee was a game master and offered various kinds of services to help with the propaganda planning. The most notable one of them was him capturing the name Vote for Barry on Kate Souls to list them on the top of the auction house when the perfect day comes. This idea is brilliant because when players see a Hypixel employee taking part of the propaganda, they become much more inclined to join in. Everything up until this point was looking fantastic. 
Ari had a fully organized campaign that spans across multiple forms of media and every corner of the game. And all he had to do was wait for the perfect moment to pull the trigger. So Ari set up an alarm to wake him up each time there is a new election. At this point, it was mid-November. They wait patiently for the upcoming election and nothing good. Up. Well, Time to wait another skyblock here, which is 5 days 4 hours in real life time. Next election comes in. It's also kinda bad. Surely it'll be the next one. Nope. It's December now, and the first couple of elections this month are also not looking too good. Ari was kinda hoping they could do this before New Year's 2022, but womp womp. No luck there. I read about a... a did you say womp womp? It's 2022 now. Woo! New Year. Ari goes back to waiting patiently. January passes, nothing. On the day on the 4th of February, the first election of that month, Ari's alarm wakes him up and he goes to check the candidate's perks. <sighs> okay, well, yeah, this isn't looking very good. I mean, Diana Aatrox is just, people are just gonna vote for that. I mean, Diaz Foxy is pretty easy, but wait, but Aatrox only has one perk. What does Diana have? Diana doesn't have ritual. Wait a second. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I need to get everyone, like, ASAP. Holy shit. Ari glanced at this election card and realized that this is it. Every other mayor here is not as good as they usually are, and Barry has all three of his perks. If there is any time to strike, it would be now. So, he rushed to his Discord and started messaging everyone involved. And in the next couple of minutes, the propaganda had officially started. You, a regular Skyblock player, one day wake up on February 4, 2022 and log onto Hypixel. You leave your island and go to the main hub to buy some stuff. And you notice that players in the lobby chats are spamming glory to Barry and vote for Barry. Huh, whatever. You open the auction house to buy the pet items you need for farming and you notice that the front page of the auction house is filled with vote for Barry cake souls. Whoa, okay. You close the menu and take a glance behind you to see that everyone in the hub are wearing berry themed skins. You open your auction menu again to buy the items you needed and notice the person you are buying from is called Barry the Chad. He is everywhere. Feeling overwhelmed, you open YouTube to watch some of your favorite Skyblock content creators and find that they've made videos telling you to vote for Barry right now. That is why me and a lot of other Skyblock YouTubers have come together under the leadership of Ari the Monkey to finally bring justice to Barry. So please, vote for Barry. This will go down as an example of the dark side of the human condition. Open your guild chat to ask your friends what's going on, and they send you an invite link to a Discord server called Barry Hub. You join it and find thousands of people telling you to also vote for Barry. They even offer to make you a skin. You ask yourself, Hmm, am I really going to sacrifice a higher chance of loot drops or more pet XP for 5 days just to be in on a funny trend? Sure, why not? I will vote for Barry. And so did 638,219 other Skyblock players. 71.7% .7 of the players online at the time, leading to Barry's victory and him becoming mayor for the very first time in Skyblock's history. All it took was 188 Skyblock years and a little bit of peer pressure on the player base. Ari's master plan was a complete flawless success. Actually, it was too much of a success. You see, something quite unexpected happened the moment Barry got elected. Two, one, two, let's one. go. Oh, there he is. Oh, secret Wait, bonus. Secret it. bonus. All abilities cost 15% less mana. Gain plus one magic find for every year that oh Barry has God, not been yes. elected. Gain and two clicks and super pair experiments. Let's Wait, there's go. perks. Barry apparently had been not so useless all along and had hidden perks that are unlocked upon being elected. Your abilities now cost 50% less mana. You gain 20 more magic find, which basically means higher chance to get rare drops. 
and you get two more clicks in the super pairs experiment, which also means higher chance at getting rare items from the enchanting minigame. Barry and Joyers were eating good. But that wasn't the only surprise Barry had in the bag. Go to the tower. Wait, it's oh two yeah, to, it's, it's the tower two to, open. It's, Everyone go to the tower. It's two to four business days? Wait, did it change it to two to four? Yeah, it's two to four business days. What? Oh my god. The wizard portal, which is the biggest joke in the Stabla community, because it's been saying that it requires three to five business days to open since 2019, had been reduced down to two to four business days. This was absolutely massive news to everyone, and it started a chain reaction of people wanting to vote for Barry on their own, even without any propaganda. So, just one election after this one, on year 190, Barry was elected as a mayor again, reducing the number of days in the wizard portal by an additional one, making it two to three business days. The next few elections were a little rough for Barry, as the hype surrounding him died down and RNG had decided to place him against some objectively better candidates, even with all of his perks. His influence on the game continued outside of politics though, as sometime in early April 2022, the big mountain in the hub changed. The hub mountain has always been an interesting feature, because despite its massive size and the fact that it's built clearly with the intention of something being up there, it's basically never used for anything outside of one or two quests. So, when a swirling vortex appeared at the top of the mountain known as the Breach, players knew something was up. Wait, 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 so why am I talking about a random particle effect in the middle of a video about a monkey and his favorite fictional politician? Well, 30 Stablock years later, or about 5 a human month, Barry would be elected for a third and later fourth time because everyone else had awful perks, bringing the wizard tower's timer down to 24 business hours. Following the end of his fourth term as a mayor, Barry retired from politics citing a toxic workplace environment and wanting to work on fixing the wizard portal, so he was no longer a mayor that you can elect. On the same day, a bunch of NPCs were added to the wizard tower, one of which referring to the vortex on top of the mountain as the Riftway, but in true Hypixel style, after hyping up something for a very long time, absolutely nothing more happened after this for almost an entire year, until May 2nd, 2023, when this trailer dropped, showcasing the Rift to the world for the very first time. The world showcased in this trailer was very notable for looking extremely similar to the Hub Island, except it's purple, and most importantly of all, it is accessed through the wizard's portal. Players wouldn't have to speculate for very long, as two days later, the update was released on the public alpha server for testing. For the sake of simplicity and also the fact that I have no idea what was different in the alpha version, we're just going to skip this part and pretend it's June 20th, 2023, the day the rift was released on the main server. When entering the wizard tower, players are told that Barry has finally repaired the portal and now spends his time studying the rift that lies on the other side, and that the portal is necessary to access the rift safely if you ever want to return. Entering a cool portal to another world with a fun adventure on the other side isn't very appealing to the average skyblock sweat. So, another NPC named Elise promises them the best necklace in the game for inconveniencing them with actual gameplay and fun storylines. Upon jumping into the portal and entering the rift, players are transported to an alternate skyblock dimension that looks suspiciously exactly like the skyblock hub except more purple. Their inventory is completely separate from the normal world, and everything is sorta of designed to be as confusing and unstablock as possible. After leaving the wizard tower, players will be immediately made aware of their most important resource that they need to manage. Time. In regular skyblock, you have HP and defense stats, but in the rift, you are invincible, and time is your health. If you take any sort of damage, you lose very valuable time you could have spent exploring the rift and doing quests, and once you run out of time, you get sent back to the real Stablock world, and must wait 4 hours or pay a fee to re-enter. Instead of strength or crit damage, players only have a single offensive stat, rift damage. There is no selection of gear in the rift either, as every single armor piece and weapon is an upgrade that requires the previous gear item in the sequence. 
making progression in the rift very linear, as opposed to the real sky block, where you're more or less free to go for whatever items you want. The entire experience is set up to give players a feeling of déjà vu. Everything feels so familiar, yet slightly wrong in some way. Places that have very sparse content in the real world, like the castle or massive fairy forest tree, are instead the center of most areas and storylines, and useful areas in the overworld, like the bank and the auction house, are left nearly empty and only used as a passageway to the next area and a shop. Half of the map doesn't even exist, replaced with a giant never-ending ocean on one side and a void on the other. Even the gameplay differs heavily from anything in Skyblock. Areas are packed full of short and medium length standalone quests, and the enemies in the areas all have complex attacks and invulnerability periods, whereas most of Skyblock is set up in a way that feels as if players are expected to one-shot everything and breeze through content really fast, spending most of their time in repetitive endless grinds. It's almost a shame that islands with such nice builds and story, like the Crimson Isles, the update that preceded the rift, only have a tiny number of tutorial quests that honestly all make the island feel so much smaller and deader than it could be, despite its massive size. Everything comes together to create a slow experience that feels more like an adventure map than anything in Skyblock. At the end of it, players are left with what could be described as a breath of fresh air due to how unique and different Rift plays from the rest of the game. And for once in this game's entire history, it finally felt right to call Skyblock an MMORPG. Oh right, Rift also has a Vampire Slayer, but uh... Let's not talk about that. What the fuck? But between first being pushed out of the wizard tower and the long slayer grind is the community hub with our old friend Barry doing what he does best, being completely unelectable without outside help. The player is then tasked with doing something most politicians couldn't dream of doing, listening to their population. Oh, and also working out someone's taxes using a progressive tax bracket, because obviously, by the end of this, he would have helped Barry get elected again, and this quest is clearly inspired by Ari's election campaign. As cool and transformative of an update that the rift was, and it's pretty clear Ari had some influence over it, is it fair to say that this update really changed Skyblock forever? Actually, is it even fair to say that Ari changed Skyblock forever? As all 15 people who have ever read Skyblock's lore have probably already furiously typed out in the comments, the Rift and the Breach have actually been present in Skyblock's story ever since it was really started in 2020. Whilst playing dungeons, you can occasionally find dungeon journals as secret drops, and if you're anything like me, you didn't read them and toss them into lava. But if you do ever need to read them, you can see them all on the Hypixel wiki or in the quest log in-game if you like having a bad reading experience. Most of these journals were released in July 2020 and actually contain some really cool lore which is unfortunately way too long to cover in this video. But maybe we'll cover it in another video. From these, we can pick out some entries that pretty clearly point out towards the fact that the rift has been planned for a very long time. Lathra, Lathra, the yes starter Emmett, he said as he emerged from the dream. Lathra, I need you to do something for me. And how many times do I have to tell you? Stop idling around the breach. You are perturbing my tools. On that day, a magical breach got created at the top of the mountain, almost invisible to the eye. For as long as he remembers, the breach showed him visions, sometimes even talked to him, while the doctor always acknowledged that his vision That with a really rough spawn, and this was just a doozy of a board that I wasn't able to fully get. Going into the second game, I know I have what it takes to get a full board, but I also know that some luck is going to have to be involved. Also, this second FFA round is 20 minutes compared to the first round's 25, so there's even more stress going into this one now. I really have to zone in and get myself back to the top of the board. I'm Prage. 
Bread. Uh, bread. Uh, only bread. Well, like in. Oh my god. Oh. Potato. I'm What's gonna shoot. Gonna I'm gonna. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I need a village. I need or not a village. I need. I need planes. I need planes. I need planes. Oh my god. Loom. Okay, whatever. My dies are all fricky wicky. Uh, firework stars. Easy. Planes. I'll take. <gasps> this has this has potatoes, right? In chests. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. I need a stick. My okay. Where is all question marks still? Oh, oh my god. This is so Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I don't know what a cartographer house looks like in a spruce village, but I'm not too worried about it. I see the stuff there. I have, I have sugar cane. I need leather. I need gunpowder. Smooth stone. Glow like it. What's my bingo? I don't think I'm even going to worry about bingo. I got three flint in a row. Four. I need paper. I need paper. Uh, coal and terracotta gets me. What's the terracotta? Oh my God, B, Ray. So bone meal and ink. Squid, squid, squid. Uh, I need reds, blues. Uh, I don't need gray for anything. Uh, this is for composter. Dust in a minecart. Is this gonna be a good cave? Maybe. No. Goodbye. I need purple, light blue, pink. So purple, light blue. We'll work on pink later. I know red and white makes pink chat. I'm very aware of that, but I need to get more white. I feel like this is kind of a misplay, but I want the coal block. Iron. Don't misplay anymore. Two. Three. What do I need? Minecart, shears. What else do I need iron for, chat? Uh, iron shovel. Lapis is big. Creeper would be nice. Slime, right. Uh, spider would be good. Oh my god. One string. I didn't need spider eye. I need another clay, I just realized. Creeper. I'm in a weird spot. Okay, or that just happens, I guess. Oh, walk. Thank you. Congratulations, player. You got the diagonal star bonus. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've never seen anything more beautiful in my life. Magenta is glass. So what am I? What am I pace locked on? I'm pace locked on sheep and squid. I'm pace locked on sheep and squid. I can bingo 100%. I can bingo 100% here. I need clay for flower pot. Yeah, yeah, good calm. Skeleton for bone meal. I don't know how I don't have any sheep. There's sheep. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe they are gonna magically appear. Oh my god, the legendary? <laughs> okay, I'll come back. This is so fraudulent. This is absolutely absurdly fraudulent. Uh, Congratulations! Glass. I need purple bed. Oh, you got purple bed. What am I? I'm trolling. I actually trolled. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Slayer. You have else. achieved the horizontal star uh, bonus. Gunpowder, die. Jesus Christ. Squid. 
I literally just need squid. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, I never got orange. That's okay, I can do that. I thought I needed a compost. This is free. This is free. This is just free. Yes! Let's go! Give me that! Mickey Mouse board! I don't give a sh Congratulations, Let's go! player. You got the Galactic Prime bonus. I'm on that! The spawn was so Mickey Mouse. Dude, purple bed, potato spawn next to a spruce village. Oh my god. Has anyone else bingoed yet? I probably missed one. Fine needs a carrot. Average. Come on, fine. Come on, silver. Come on, Fulham. Fulham's one off. Come on, Fulham. I'm gonna be up, man. I'm gonna be up, man. I'm gonna be so up. I'm gonna be so up. I fell on top of the world after the second game. I was the only person to get a bingo that round, so I was able to skyrocket up the board into top five, which guarantees me money. At this point too, I've also had carrot and potato as my food items. So going into this last round, I was praying that I could finally get mushroom stew or bread. And if I could get one of those, I think I have a real chance at winning this whole thing. This third round is 25 minutes again for the final FFA round. But as a twist, they added a wheel that gives everyone a special effect randomly throughout the game. This can be things like eating makes your screen go upside down, zero gravity, and having to breathe underwater. With all that in mind, I knew I had a full plate going into this final round. One, two, three for Discord kitten. One, two, three. One, two, three, please. Oh, oh, good luck, good luck, good luck. Oh, totems. Ender dragon head. <laughs> Carrot again? Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. It's okay. We're getting the village spawn this time. We're getting the village spawn. Dandelion, glow lichen. We don't need the jungle. Too much pink, too much. Dude, magenta, purple, pink. I'm gonna forget this. Guys, you need to remember this. I'm not trolling. Magenta wool, pink bed, purple concrete, okay? Magenta wool, pink bed, purple concrete. Vertical here, horizontal here, diagonal without the carrot. On. Money, two iron right off the jump. That's my shears. That's huge. That's that's massive. Blue flower is beautiful. I need, probably, I'm just gonna grab a ton. Horse armor. I need a poppy. Great start. Okay. Uh, dark oak, dark oak, dark oak. Huge, 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 huge. Huge. There's my mushroom stew or sus stew. Uh, are we serious? Are we trolling? Thank you. Really, there's a brown mushroom. Okay, yes. I need to find more cows. I need to find more red. I need to get a good cave. I need to get a good cave. Cave, 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 cave. There's my red flowers. Oh, that's pink. That's pink. That's pink. Be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is pink, I think. Uh, it is pink. I'm grabbing this for composter later. Um, let's do this. I need a cave. I need a cave yesterday. I need iron. Let's just go for iron now. Oh, I saw a lot on the side there. A little closer than I thought it would be. This is five. I need at least more. There's my glow lichen. I need sand. I need sand and sheep. Uh, five plus eight. Is this enough? Six, 11. I think it's enough. Oh, I need crossbow iron. I need crossbow iron. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'll just get more at some point. I need, I need, I need like squids like yesterday. Oh my God, wrong village type. This doesn't have carrots. There's no way I get carrots here. I can't get carrots. I have an enter. What do I need an enter for? I can give bucket maybe. Yeah, I get my iron. I can get string from cats. I can't buy carrots. Okay, so bucket, this food, iron hoe.
Yo, it's Arcata. Oh my god, a great comp. Um, helmet. Purple concrete, right? Purple concrete. Magenta is red or blue, white. Okay, same thing. I need squid. I need salmon in a bucket. And I need stone cutter. I should go for bone block. Congratulations, player. Uh, you got the diagonal star bonus. Need what I need when I need stone cutter. Boom, boom. I got plus five on all. That's big. Any cod? Spiders. I just need mobs. 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 Just need mobs. I eat the screen will go upside down. Okay, just don't jump. I kind of want to stay in the planes. Am I like trolling by doing this? Like squid and salmon, I can get together. I'm not worried about that. I can go back to this ocean. I, I really want to get this sheep and spider while it's nighttime. Not like this, dude. Not like this. Sheep. Spider! Dude, there's no way. I don't want to do cave because I have to get... While it's nighttime, there's no reason to, because I want to try and get carrot as well. I have to get salmon too before I like I can't I can't go death resetting until I get salmon. So maybe I try and focus that. But it's nighttime. This opens the planes. Hold on, hold on. Silver runs got the whole board. Let's go, Silver. Good job, Silver. Bro, I have not seen any hostile mobs besides one skeleton and two endermen. I have no hostile mobs. Chat, what am I doing wrong? Oh my god, you are kidding. Dude, I have no string. This is absurd. This is so... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please. One. Need spider eye and a string right now. Okay, at least gets me that. God. Two spiders, no spider eye. Two spiders, no spider eye. And I gotta like at least start getting a little bit worried about like squid and salmon. Spider, 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 spider. Please. Dude. I just have to accept I'm not getting carrot and get the other three. Which means I need to find a river now. ASAP. Perfect. Every time you jump, the screen will go upside down. Okay, so I just won't jump. All right. Surely I don't have the same horrible mob luck. Squid. Wrong fish. I'm not worried about getting salmon. I'm really worried about spider eye. Like if I see a decent cave, I should think about it. This isn't a great sea value. It's actually pretty bad. Is it worth dying? Another ocean cave. I think I'm going to go for a better cave. I obviously don't need a lot of resources to kill a spider. I'm still in fourth, assuming no craziness. I got a really unfortunate board, dude. Like, what are you going to do? Jungle? Cave, 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 spider. I just got to go for spider. A lot of cave here. There's a whole lot of cave. Bro, if I don't get a spider here, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, disgusting board, man. Disgusting board. I think we're top five. Guys, guess who my food was? Guess what my food was? Guess? It was carrots! Potato. Carrots! And then I killed five spiders and didn't get a spider eye. I got no bingos at all. Bro, I had nine minutes left when I was done. Silver, you're the goat. Yeah, dude, no way my thing says spider hisses Every now. Oh my god! Are you I'm so over this game. Oh my god. I needed spider eye. I killed five spiders, got zero. I'm sitting here with slowness. I see two spiders that just spawned in on my view. I hate this game so much. Yes, 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 yes. HPG top four. After the team of two and team of four rounds wrapped up, the only thing left was the FFA deathmatch round. Everyone's timer starts at five minutes counting down, and the only way to add time is by completing objectives on the bingo board. The first person to complete the entire board is the only person to win any money. But again, 
again, these boards are random. I have to deal with whatever I get and hope on everything I know that I'm not going to get carrot or potato. I'm happy with how I did in the FFA round, but I really want to prove myself once and for all in the death match. Good okay, luck. good luck, good luck. I got mushroom oh, stew. I love you all. Goodbye. Vine is an L. Vine is a big L. Vine is a mega L, but we got mushroom stew. All right, I need a lot of... Actually, I don't need that much iron. 2, 5, 11, 13 if I want shears. Block of coal, rotten flesh. Hardest thing is vine. Everything else is free low. So if I'm worrying about like time, I should get flint and a site, a zerbluette. Oh, pressure plate. So two... Two, four, seven, 13. 15 iron is a lot. Oak fence, oak leaf. This is nice. Porch, blue. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, wait. The colors. Oh my God. Blue, purple, blue, blue, purple, blue. Bro, what? Everything is blue except banner and glass. I need to kill cows. And I don't need to kill a chicken. Oh, I, I might need to kill a chicken. I might want to go for arrow early. I might want to go for arrow early. I have a real chance to win this, so I just got to focus on that. The goal is corn flour. So how much how much flowers do I need exactly? This is one, two, three, four. I need four blue dye. Five blue dye. Five blue dye. And then purple is would be six blue dye, nine blue dye. I need nine blue dye and four red. Absolute first things I should be going for is azure bluette, flint, andesite, porch coal block wood this is like definitely in my hands minus vine okay they're gonna tell everyone that gets an item that's fun that's actually so fun two three four five seven. that cave good enough no this is bro how um, okay whatever lapis beautiful Old block. Uh, oh, I didn't pick up flint for arrow. I see. More iron, more iron. Do I need copper? No, right? No copper. More lapis. I don't want to commit to this cave for too long. Ten is good. I don't want to commit to this cave too long if I can't. Craft andesite. Thank you. I need to see iron like right now or I'm out. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I'll smell this on the surface. I need 15, right? Oh, that's beautiful. Um, um, let's do this. And then this. And then this. Beautiful. Um, I have gravel. Glass is purple. Can I get a flower while I'm waiting? Uh, why is there nothing in here? What do I need to smelt? Uh, that actually. That's done. Uh, this is gonna be blue. I need red flowers, not Lily of the Valley. Red flowers, red flowers. Red flowers, cow, red flowers, cow, red flowers, cow. Red flowers, cow, red flowers, cow. Cow? Five. I have literally not seen a flower. Oh, uh, if I see one iron here, I gotta go for it, unfortunately. I don't. Okay, then forget it. Zombie. Skeleton, a little scary. No, I'll get the chain armor, actually. Okay. Magenta, no care. String here. Spider eye, because obviously, why wouldn't it be anything else? Guys, am I miss missing anything on this flower? Like, am I stupid how I don't have a red flower? Like, what is what is the deal here? Bone meal grass. I don't have a... Oh, meal. Good shout.